Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see about the group by function and we'll be going to see about the aggregate functions and we'll also see about the AGG function. So as per the today's agenda, first we will see about the group by, then we'll see the aggregate function and last we'll see about the AGG function and we'll see the real time use of all these. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practice. So here I'm going to read the data from one of the CSV file. So what I'm doing, I am first declaring this schema of this file. So here the SOID is in integer and then we can see quantity and value is in integer. If you are going to directly read the data from the CSV file without specifying the schema, it will be going to specify and return all the columns as an string. So make sure while you are going to read the data from the file, data types should be proper. So now we can see all this data. Now let's start one by one. So first is the group by. So group by is very similar as we have already seen inside the SQL server. If you have any idea, then group by is used for doing the grouping for specified the columns, then immediately we can also use the aggregate function for checking the aggregate value of that table. So our requirement is we just wanna check how many items are here and what is the total count of those items. So like we can see we are having total 799 rows. So on these rows, how many times each item is coming? So simply we can use df dot then we are going to use the group by because group by is going to use for the item name so first we are required to do the group by then we can use the aggregate function so inside the group by we just want to do the group by on the item name next we can use the aggregate function so i'm going to use the count so this is the first aggregate function i'm using let me put this inside a data frame so that could be df1 and let me see this display of this data frame one so we should be seeing two columns as we can see so item names and then the count so we can see the count null is having 299 rows so item name are missing there so that's why null is coming then we can see this interest one is 17 17 17 then 16 so as per the item names we are getting the count so simply we can use the group by then we can use the aggregate function whatever you want to use now next let me try to check the maximum quantity as per the item names so simply we can use the same query up to the group by here while we are using the aggregate function as count so we can use the max and then we can also specify the column name so that is the quantity let me try to execute and here we can see the maximum quantity of this item is 8 so similarly we can see all these rows now let me quickly go and check the minimum quantity so for checking the minimum quantity instead of maximum we can use the minimum here so we can execute and we'll see so the minimum quantities are coming now next we just want to check the average average quantity for items so we can use the average function so that is avg let me try to execute and we'll see so it will be going to return the average quantity as per the items so that are coming now next we just want to check the total quantity that is sold as per the items so we can use the same query and this time instead of this max we can use the sum function let me try to execute and we'll see the output so this is the total quantity next we just want to check the total quantity as well as the total value so we just want to do the sum based on the item name of the quantity and the value so we just want to use one more column over here so for using one more column if the aggregate function the same aggregate function we are using then we can specify with comma then the value and we can execute and it will be working 
so as we can see it is going to return two columns first is the quantity and second for the value and we can see the item names now the next requirement we just want to include the item code in the group by so as of now we have only one column so for the item code here we can use the item code with comma item name so both we can use over here now let me try to execute and it will be written the output as we can see item code is here item name is here quantity and value all these are here now if you are having more than two columns then we can add as much column inside the group by as we have similarly if we have the same type of the aggregate function for those particular columns then we can also use directly here let's assume if we just want to check the total quantity and the average value then how we can do that if we are going to use directly here dot avg function and like this so sum of the quantity and average of the value let me try to execute it will not be working because directly we cannot specifying for the multiple type of aggregations so what you have to do we have to use the agg function so what this agg function will do it is indicating like we are having the multiple type of aggregates inside this agg function so first is the sum of the quantity and second is the average of the value and we can wrap this inside the agg function let me try to execute and this should work so as we can see it is returning the average of the value and sum of the quantity and item name and item code all four are here this is all about the group by aggregate function and agg function i hope guys you have understood how we can use all these inside the pyspark thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video